Jesus doesn't care where you've been for all this time. When you are exactly Jesus, he does not remember where you've been for many years. When you are exactly Jesus, he does not recall how you've been betraying your family. When you are exactly Jesus, he does not remember how you've been mistreating your wife. When you remember Jesus in your family, Jesus says, Indeed, I love I love this woman. I love this man. I love this young person because no matter where he has spent the most of his time, no matter where he has spent the most of his days, no matter how he has led his life, but today because he has chosen me, I'm also ready to meet him. One as if the preacher now for all of you today. Will you marry this man? When he comes. Will you marry this man? When he comes. Will your family stand. When this man comes. Will your children stand. When this young man. When this man comes. Will your wife stand. When this man comes. Will your husband stand. When this man comes. Listen to what the Bible says. The book of Matthew. The book of Matthew, chapter number 25. The book of Matthew, chapter number 25. Nataka ni some. Nataka ni some fungu. La kumi na moja na la kumi na nini. After what? Came also the other virgins, say, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Verily I say unto you, I know you not. Ni hadithi ya wanawariku. Walio kuwa wakimusumilia kuwa na harusi. Wapumbao wapumbao, taazawa zikuwa na mafuta ya kutosha. Ikafika usiku. Wakati ya mapo wamesikia tarumeta Wakati ya mapo wamesikia mfalume Juwaja yumu langoni Na taazawa wazina mafuta ya kutosha Wakaondoka Wakaende kutafuta mafuta Lakini wakaondoka wani tuosule And when they came back They found the bride room already in the house And when they tried to knock the door The bride room tells them I know you not Jee utakuwa mmoja wa wale ambao kwa muda mrefu utahubiriwa maneno kama haya. Familia zako zitasukumuziwa maneno kama haya. Ile ya fungu linasema natakaundi kote nje kwa masungu zomba Young people, when they start counting, these days there are things they call proposals. Where a young man comes after he has spent some time with a lady and he is now ready to settle with this lady. And I'm going to go to the gym and I'm going to go to the gym. 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 Na mada kwa sababu wa kiangalio yu kijani Anamona hakika tumetembea na yanamambia yes, 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 yes Alafu kitu kinawekwa Anamuliza when you marry me Yuna musema na sema yes, I am ready to marry you The question is when Jesus comes, will you marry him? It is possible that even at times you will leave me in the church You will leave me in the church here but when this man comes, it will be so much astonishing that he will not marry this man when he comes. I want to urge everyone that they has be ready to marry this man when he comes. What does he do? Najua katika maisha na maisha ya ukristo utayapitia wewe. 
utapitia maisha magumu utapitia maisha magumu utapitia changamoto utaitwa maneno utaitwa majina utaambiwa kila kitu utafanywa kila kitu lakini naomba ukaweze kusimama imara kwa sababu when this man comes when this man called Jesus comes He is not going to look at how you were treated. But he will look at how you stand, you stood firm in his faith and in the keeping of the commandments of the Lord. Book of Revelation chapter 14 verse 12 says, And now this is the patience of the saints. Those who keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. Utakuwa mutewe utaweza kuolewa utachukuliwa na huyo mme aitwaye Yesu ikiwa utazishika amri za Mwenyezi Mungu na kutii na kusimama katika imani ya Yesu Kristo Bwana asifiwe wale wanaume ambao Mungu amewabariki na mke na wako na wake look at how you treat your wife Sometimes I'll spend my time huko ushapo. Na nimeona how some fools wanaume ambao wanavalia longi kimakosi. Unajua kuna wanaume wanavalia longi kimakosi. Si wako? Eh, kuna wanaume wanavalia longi kimakosi. Nikiuliza juzi, wapi ana David wewe huko hapa nikuuliza? Huko wapi? Hata David ndiye alinipigia hiyo maana inamjua yeye alikuwa ananipigia simu na ndio Robert. Ukienda nyumbani na upate bibi yako na mama yako wamekosana hiyo ni habari imekutana pasta mjana njani nimekwambia enda ilikuwa napita niliona watu wakisuzana kweli na alikuwa bibi yako na mama yako. Kwa hao wawili utatetea nani? Kumbuka mmoja ni bibi yako Mwingine ni mama yako mzazi. Utamtetea nani? Simama hapo na useme sasa useme na kipaji sasa. Ehe. Na ni bibi yako. Na That is why you are called ahead. So, you cannot be 
kwa sababu mama ataanzia hapa ukiona shingo alishikilia vizuri shida iko kwa akili tuana akili haipo ukipata mwanamke barabarani na makota magaratasi na kula maji kutoka mapiba unaba kunasema ni mbili ukipata familia watoto walali nyumbani bibi analala kwa misitu unasema aje kichwa that is what Ephesians chapter 5 verse 22 the Lord says Men, you are the heads of your homes Every time ask yourself Is my head okay? If your head is okay then your family is safe What does it do? Lakini ni ajabu Kuna wanaume wengine Wamebebewa hakili Na madada zao Kuna wanaume wengine Wamebebewa hakili Na mama zao baka wakati anataka kuongeza mtoto lazima apige simu nyumbani mama niongeze mtoto Bibi akikosa na anataka kumpiga anapiga simu nyumbani kwa sifa yake ni mpige Yaani wewe kichwa unachopatiwa kiko na akili gani kwa sababu Biblia inasema wewe ni kichwa cha nyumba yako Bwana asifiwe Yes Hakuna wanawake wengine wa kumbao the Bible says in Proverbs 31 verse 10, who will get a bunch of room? For a price is beyond rubies. Minari atakaya mpata mke wema. Kwa sababu, hii damana yake ni zaidi. Ya dahabu. Ama ya mawa ya dahabu. Lakini kuna wanawake wengine. Let me tell you women. The Bible says a wise woman beats her boo. But a stupid one destroys that very home with her two hands. Mm. With her two hands. That is why we eat our zero magamisa. At least it was here. Wow. Kina wakati na kuangalia mzee wako, ukimwangalia mume wako, muone kama mtu mzuri. Na nilisema chuzi hapa. Hata ukienda tao, uambiwe wewe ulio ulio mwanamke wako na miguu ya kushoto peke yake. Wewe ukubali tu sema mpenzi wangu, wewe na miguu yako ya kushoto, wewe ni mzuri. Ya. Bwana asifiwe. Hata kama unileta yule ambaye anasimama unafikiri hapo kwa mazishi, sema tu wewe ni mzuri pia. That you walk circumspectly, not as a fool, but as a wise person. Vijana mulioko kwenye mkutamu. Naomba tushauliane kwa hili. Kuna watu wengi hata wameyakisha kuingia katika loa. Bila hata ya kujuliza suwani. Ni muleta ya takula hili. Watutu wangu kesho watakula hili. Watafara vipi. Wewe kwa sababu, unasema kwa mba nimemea ndevu. I say my papa let go at the letter, okay? Listen to what the Bible says. Genesis chapter 2, verse 15. Genesis chapter 2, verse 15. Be a wise man. Be a wise woman. Genesis chapter 2, verse 15. Genesis is the first book in the Bible. The Bible says, the Lord, then the Lord God blessed the man. Then the Lord, the Lord blessed the man. In the garden. In the garden. Of Eden. Of Eden. To cultivate it and cultivate it. To cultivate it. And guard it. And guard it. Uh-huh. No matter what it is. And the Lord God took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to dress it 
and to keep it. The first thing you can do as a young person, before you even start dreaming of a marriage, ask yourself, have I worked enough to be sure that I can take care of you? But when we get in, when we get into the marriage, we know that we have a baby. That means 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 that we have a baby. The Bible says he put the man in the garden of Eden to dress it and keep it so that he has an assurance that when a woman comes, there's enough in the soul to be eaten. Hallelujah. Amen. Listen to what he says in verse 18 of the same chapter. Verse 18 in Asimai. 18 in Asimai. 18 says. Did the Lord God say. That the Lord God say. It is not good for the Now that you have worked. Now that you have sinned. Now that you have built a house, now that you have you have you have gathered some good assets, now it is not for you to stay alone. Have somebody to keep this things with you. Why not sit there? Yeah. Wengine wanao hapa na wameo wameo wakitumia nyumba za watu. Uko nyumbani, unakaa hiyo miaka yote, utarudi nyumbani wakati umekufa, unaanza kupatia jamii shida ya kukutendia, ya kukulipia mahali. Ya kusomesha watoto, ya kutunga bibi yako. It is until the man works that the Lord is saying it is not the good for a man to be alone. Hallelujah. Work for any kazi. Don't be like other fools who just go and they want, they want to tell the pastor, pastor, you know me. Hey, I'm going to tell you, 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 God. A godly man, a godly woman has to work before you even settle down. One has to do. See that how you walk, Moses and Fool, that is the reason. What be quiet. I'm a quiet this morning. You are so mad. Where is the secretary of the choir? Take a name, Mulisa Young. Secretary of choir. Are you How many members do you have in this choir? Huh? Thirty-two. Kamisa, I think thirty-two. I'm counting these ones, and these are the only people I'm qualified to be choir members. The rest will have to cancel them. I'm going to come here. One choir. Wanakuwa lini ni wahubiri. Naomba Mungu awasaidie kwa huduma yenu mnapo mnapo mnapofanya kazi ya uimbaji. Katika kwa ya watu wengi wamekuja kanisani kupitia kwa nyimbo, si ndivyo? Lakini nitashangaza nita kwamba wanakwaya wengi nyimbo hizo zinaoko. Is that true? I have been a choir trainer for many years before I came katika it is possible that you can sing, you can save somebody, you can win a song, but the song that you sing has never saved you. Bible says in Acts chapter 1, verse 8. Don't let them do Acts chapter 1, verse 8. I'm going to say it. Matelo ya mitume sura ya kwanza, fungo lake la nani. Matelo ya mitume. Inasema. Inasema. Ataka mwibo na mwibo wenu muna pena. Ata nisikio yudu. Nyo yudu na nitaitumia wakati mwibo. Ataka nisikio yudu na yudu zenu. Uda mwibo muna upena. Aha. By the Lord. The Lord is the Bible say in Acts chapter 1 verse 8. The Lord was it inasema. Aha. But when the Lord. But when the Holy Spirit came upon you, when the Holy Spirit shall have come upon you, you will be filled with the power. You will be filled with the power, and you will be witnesses. And you will be witnesses in Jerusalem, in the whole 
in all Judea, in Samaria, and in all of all corners of the world. It is possible. Ya kwamba hata kwaya itaenda Judea, ienda Samaria, ienda ulimwenguni kote na Jerusalem kwao kwa waka moto. Tuomba kwamba kwenu Jerusalem kukopokea uponyaji kwa jina la Yesu. Wanapo utakuta wimbo, naomba niulize swali. Kuna mtu katika mkutano anasema kwamba indeed for many times, for many days, for many years I have walked as a fool. Want to tell you when you come to the Lord, you will never be a fool again. You want to recommit your life to Jesus wherever you are. You want to give your life to Jesus through baptism. I want to request you that you stand wherever you are. Wherever you are. If you feel like I am for many days I am not obeyed what the Lord says. I have not given my life. Yes, I have been in this church. I backslided. I did so many things. I was never baptized. I need to be baptized wherever you are. I want to extend this invitation to you before I wish for prayer. Why did you come to me? You are
Oh, no, no, no.